How's it going guys? This is Trader Neil coming at you with another crypto video. So today's video is going to be a little different than what you guys are probably used to from me. Um, I decided that, you know, every once in a while, rather than simply just talk about the markets, I would like to get a little more uh, education out to you guys as well. And especially looking at some of the comments, things like that, I see a lot of new traders find my channel and they might be a little bit confused on how trading view works and that sort of thing um, whenever i am charting these coins so today's video is going to be focused on an introduction to trading view how to use it using bitcoin and pretty much just how to get your technical analysis setup started so that you guys can start trading and that you guys can start pretty much charting coins and finding short and long entries so yeah, today's gonna be an intro to TradingView video, guys. Um, if you guys like these videos and if you guys are interested in more videos like this, I would very much appreciate it. If you guys hit that like button, if you hit the subscribe button, of course, um, we are getting so close to 4K subscribers, guys, and I really do think we can hit that by the end of this month. So it would be great if any of you guys aren't subscribed that are watching this, and I know at least a couple of you guys are, it would be fantastic if you guys could subscribe to the channel. All right, guys, let's get into the introduction to TradingView video. Hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to be going over how you can use TradingView and its different tools to be able to start doing technical analysis on some of your favorite coins, whether that be Bitcoin or your favorite altcoins, and then as a result, hopefully find some potential entries for some trades coming up as well. And so just looking at Bitcoin here on a TradingView chart, as you guys can see, Bitcoin here in terms of how you strategize price action and how you analyze a chart. Looking at it, you can see that here in the top left corner, I've got the ticker, which is Bitcoin. So that's how you know we're looking at the Bitcoin chart here on TradingView. You've got the time frame, which right now I have it on the daily chart. So that means every single one of these candles, guys, every single one is describing one day's worth of price action, okay? So whether it's a blue or white candle, that is signifying whether it is a positive day or a negative day of price action. But if I'm on the daily chart, that means every single one of these candles, these rectangular candles to the up and down side, are signifying one whole day's worth of price action. Now, like I said, that's for this, that's for this daily chart. But if you go to this top left corner, you can use trading view to look at all the different time frames here. You can go all the way as low to a one second time frame, which is pretty degen, but one minute, five minute, 15 minute time frame, all the way all of the hourly time frames and all the way up to the 12 month time frame you can look at bitcoin and all these altcoins in terms of their price action so like i said i'm on the one day chart but if i hit the four hour chart here you can see that here on the four hour i can now look at the same bitcoin chart but every single one of these candles is now describing one four hour time frame candle close and open all right and so that's what that's showing. I'm going to go back to the daily chart. Hey, everyone, just a quick word from me and the team at Breakout here. So really special partnership that we just started for the next two weeks, guys. You guys can win a potential breakout evaluation here. And so there are five 10K evaluations me and the team at Breakout are giving away. Um, and you have the chance to win if you purchase your first evaluation at Breakout to enter the draw. So all you guys have to do is go to breakoutprop.com here and purchase your first evaluation. They have options from a five to a hundred K breakout evaluation here. And the bigger account that you buy, the more entries you get to be able to win the 10 K amount here. I've got this tweet going with it as well, guys. You just got to use my discount code right here. 8N1DFX. Um, 
And if we get over 20 signups, guys, I will be giving over $500 personally to five people. So definitely check this out. Only running over the next two weeks, guys. It's starting today. So if you want to get there early and get the most entries before everyone else, I would be hopping on top of this. And again, guys, like I always show you guys with the evaluations here, you guys have one or two step accounts here with five to hundred K potentially to be your account size here. Again, guys with breakout, you can trade with this prop firm's money instead of risking your own capital. They've got great gain splits up to 90%. You just have to hit the step one or step two goals here with the max daily loss and drawdown here as well, guys to be your parameters here. And overall guys, I think this is a fantastic promo they got going. Um, this is the first time we're doing any sort of promo with them, and I would love for you guys to be able to get a free account. So definitely check things out. Like I said, guys, you just have to purchase your first evaluation to enter a draw. So for example, if you bought a breakout account before, all you have to do is sign up with a new email to be able to be eligible and then buy a new account with that fresh email. So definitely go for it, guys. Um, discount code again. I'll put it up here as well. Um, but yeah. Thanks again to Breakout for sponsoring this video and back to the charts. And I'm gonna show you a little bit about these candles real quick, guys. So a little bit about how to read these candles. Wherever these candles start out with, whether it's a white or blue, a negative or a positive candle, the bottom of the blue candles is where the candle opens. The top of the blue candles, not including this little line, which is a wick, is where this candle closes. The wick is the height at which this candle pushed to the upside and didn't close the daily at that level but wick to that price that's what this wick is and then on the white candles as you can see the wicks to the downside or are as low as price went during that 24 hour period and then the wick to the upside is as high price went during the 24 hour period and on the white candles the top of it is the open price at which price open and then the bottom of the white candle is a closed price at which price closed so that's a little bit about how to read candlesticks and that's a little bit about time frames here guys a little bit about trading view in terms of candles you can click up here you can change the type of candles you use personally i just use the normal candles but you can change them to bars if you prefer that and prefer how that looks you can change them to hollow candles if you prefer how that looks and then you can even change it to lines or to areas you've got so many different options here guys and you've also got different types of candles here like haikinashi candles which does get into more of the complicated things with these charts guys but we're just going to stick to looking at the normal candles here so i just wanted to show you that you can have these different options as well if you would like to and then just a little bit about the different tools on TradingView you can use besides the time frame and besides the candles. If you look to your left, you've got different tools to be able to draw on your chart with. Trend lines here, if you click on that button, you can draw trend lines when it comes to price. If you want to see, for example, if Bitcoin is having an uptrend here, if you're making, for example, these higher lows. You can draw a trend line connecting all of these lows as such to be able to see that on your chart. That's one way you could use a trend line. You can draw horizontals line, horizontal lines here, guys. So if I click on horizontal, for example, I can place a line anywhere I want on the chart. So if I want to place a line here at the top of this wick, I just click there and boom, I've got a line there now. And it goes all the way across to the left side of the chart as well. If I don't want a line that goes all the way to the left side of the chart i can use the horizontal ray tool so if i click on that and i want to draw drop that line right here it'll only draw that line to the right side of the chart so i've got those options there and then you can go into the different tools here on the left as well guys like parallel channel tools you can even draw vertical lines wherever you want but you've got tons of options there on trading view now on TradingView, you can also use the Fib retracement tool if you want to start using Fibonacci. And these are all the different Fib tools as well you can use on the left. They do get a little complicated here, guys. But as you go about researching and looking through these tools, you can play with them. And for example, if I hit the Fib retracement tool and I just start on the left side of this range on Bitcoin, start there and take it to the bottom of this range. And I just put on my... Um, default drawing template boom I have Fibonacci levels here in my chart as well so you can do that easily 
And then if you go to the left, guys, you've also got on the pattern section, harmonic patterns here with the X, A, B, C, D, and cipher pattern tool. You can draw some head and shoulders patterns, some triangle patterns, and much more as well. Long and short positions tools, long and short position tools, sorry guys. Those are going to be important for how you guys are going to be strategizing trades. For example, if I want to take a long here at this horizontal line I placed on the chart at 73K, I could hit long position. I could place that here at my 73K tool, at my 73K level. As you guys can see, that's where my entry is now. I, If I want to place my stop loss level using this tool somewhere on the chart, if I want it under, for example, this horizontal line, I could place it right there. And then if I want, for example, to take profit all the way at the top of this current wick, I could place it right here. And now looking at the chart, I have a nice trade potentially drawn here on the chart in case it fills. So using the long and short trade tool is really important, guys, because it can help you pretty much draw where you want to take your trades on the chart using technical analysis. It even tells you the risk reward of the trade that you could have if it fills. It tells you what your target percent wise would be here at 27. And it tells you your stop loss percent wise what it would be here at 11. So this is a very important tool that I want you guys to use. Again, that's a long tool. If you use the short tool, it looks exactly the same. If I wanted a short current price here at Bitcoin, I would place I would hit the short tool, I would click right at current price, and then I could place my stop loss wherever I'd like, I can place my max take profit wherever I'd like, and as a result, I've got my trade drawn up here on the chart. I can look and see what my stop loss percentage is, my risk reward percentage, and what my target price is as well. So that's all there. And then just a little bit of the different brush tools, guys. If you wanna just use your normal brush to draw on the chart, for example, if I want to go ahead and do something like this to show that, hey, if price action comes down, I wanna take a long there, I can use this brush to help pretty much um, describe to me where I wanna take my tool, where I wanna take my trade and be able to see, okay, this is exactly where I wanna take it. And that's using the brush tool. I can also pretty much illustrate that as well. I've got a highlighter tool, an arrow tool, and some rectangles, guys. So for example, the rectangle tool is really nice for drawing order blocks. So if, for example, I see a daily order block here on the Bitcoin chart, I could use the rectangle tool. I could draw it around that order block, and boom, now I have a rectangle on my chart to help illustrate right exactly where that order block is. So that's a little bit about how you use the rectangle tool there. You can draw some text on your chart if you wanna write, you know, if you wanna exactly write 73,000 right at this level. If I wanted to do that, I could literally type 73,000 and stick that right here at this level if I wanted to. So you can do that with the draw tool. You can use the measuring tool as well. For example, if I wanted to just see how far is Bitcoin away from my current entry for this long? I could take it, the measuring tool, start out at current price and draw it all the way down to 73K and it'll tell me it'll be an 18% move down. So that's really nice there as well, guys. And then you've just got the magnifying tool, the trash tool and a couple others. So in terms of the different tools on TradingView, the last thing we'll talk about is the indicators tab up here. If you guys go to the indicator section, not only do you have the different technicals trading views allows you to use here on the chart but if you sign up for a trading view account you can actually favorite some of your indicators as well so if i wanted to favorite this advanced decline ratio or for example the awesome oscillator here i could just hit favorite and boom it would pop up in my favorites tab and then you can save all of your favorite indicators here as well if i wanted to draw and put an rsi on my chart which i've got i can put that there if I wanted to, for example, to put volume on my chart, I hit volume and boom, it pops up with the volume down here. And so that's a really nice part about it, guys. If you guys use the indicator tools and use the indicators trading view allows you to use, which a lot of them are free, you can just hit it up here and look at all of the different tools. And then lastly, what I'll talk about, guys, is on trading view as well. You can actually make watch lists as well. So if I wanted to make a new watch list here, I would just hit um, create new list. I could hit champs only, make myself a new watch list, and then I could hit this plus tool up here and I could just start adding different tickers to my chart. It lets me add symbols here. So if I wanted to add Bitcoin, I could do that. If I wanted to add Dogecoin, I could do that. Ethereum, Solana, all of my favorite altcoins. And then I could just click on them and then I could start looking at those other charts as well. 
Now I've got Dogecoin that I can start using TradingView tools on. I've got Ethereum I can start using tools on. And I've got Solana I can start using tools on. So it's really nice to be able to look at the different altcoin charts on here before you take trades, guys. Otherwise, you're kind of flying blind if you don't know what the chart looks like before you take trades. So using TradingView is a super important tool, guys. Before you take trades, always chart your coins. And after you guys start learning how to chart your own coins on TradingView and are ready to start taking your own trades and paper trading, that sort of thing, you guys can sign up to Femex here in my exchange link section. It's here on the front of my channel here, guys. Um, or if you look in the description below, you'll find it there as well. Femex is a great exchange to be able to trade on. It's non-KYC and you can use it in the US or wherever you need to in the world, guys. All right, guys. That is the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed the intro to TradingView video. I know a little different uh, than maybe what you guys are used to from the channel, but I really do think that overall, um, if you guys just needed a refresher on how to use TradingView, or if this is all brand new to you, I hope that I was able to help you with, you know, getting ahead on your trading journey. All right, guys, have a fantastic week. Trader Neil signing out. And if you stay till the end of the video, I want you to put in the comment section below mango, because why not? I love mangoes, and I'm sure at least a couple of you guys love mangoes too. All right, guys, see y'all soon. Peace.